If you like cycling and cyclocross, you will definitely have heard of the man next to me. Today, we are very lucky to be joined by Sven Nace, one of the greatest cyclocross riders of all time. Who's going to teach us some of the most important cyclocross skills. Maybe one of the most important uh, skills you need to have if you are a good cyclocross rider or not. Jump on and off the bike. The first step you need to do is the right handling with your hand. You wait with your hand in the middle of the frame until here. So my hand is over here before I jump off the bike. I'm directly in the good position to carry my bike and take them over the barriers. That's the first step. If you wait with your hand on the handlebar, you are always too late. So before you jump off the bike, your hand is in the middle of the frame. And this is directly the good position to carry your bike. I'm gonna do it a little bit faster. The next step, and it's more technical, what's the thing you need to do? Is it a barrier? Do you need to run a long climb? It's completely different. If you need to run a long climb, you don't take the bike with your hand like this, but you take the bike with your hand like this. And the next move is this. You see? It's completely different. This is the bike over the barrier. And now you take the bike on the shoulder and you run up the hill. That's the difference. It's going really fast in the race, but this is in slow motion and this is the most perfect way to run or to jump over the barrier. How far are the barriers apart? Is it four meters? Is it six meters? It's important. Is the bike heavy? Because there is a lot of mud on the bike. Is the bike really light? That's also important. If the bike is really light, it's a really fast course. Don't put the bike on the ground. Carry him in between the barriers. If the bike is really heavy, save some energy. A small run with the bike on the ground it's more easy, it's more saving energy. So that's the only thing you need to do and concentrate that your feet are high enough when you jump the barrier. That's the most important thing. Directly after uh, the last barrier, your hand is again here and it needs to go to the handlebar. What I do, and it's not the most uh, fast way, but I hold my hand first over here. Because I have then the feeling that I can hold my bike better on the ground. If it's bumpy, I have more control over the bike. Most of the riders go directly to the brake. Because then they have the good position to do the acceleration. That's the first thing. That's something I do. I don't see uh, a lot of riders doing it, but my hand is always first over here. The next thing I do is push my bike to the front and the saddle comes more in the middle of my body. That's the thing I do. I push my bike to the front and then I jump on the bike and directly sitting in the middle of the saddle. That's what you need to do. If you do it perfect, it doesn't hurt. If you do it wrong, I'm not gonna tell what you're gonna feel. Okay, the second part uh, when you jump on the bike is 
When you are sitting in the middle of the saddle, the first thing you need to do is click in the paddles. If you don't click in the paddles, don't stand up because it's slippery on the paddles and you can hurt yourself. So first sit in the middle of the saddle and find your paddles. Click in, you hear, you hear it directly and then it's as soon as possible, stand up and accelerate. That's the fastest way. Maybe one of the most important parts, uh, the shifting needs to be very, very correct. Otherwise, you're standing still uh, if you jump on the bike when the gear is too big, when the gear is too small, your acceleration is not good enough. So um, how faster it is, how bigger the gear. How slower it is, how smaller the gear. And you need to train. In the beginning, very slow, the gear is low. When you are in a race, the gear must be higher because the speed is higher. The acceleration is better. You can do it on a much quicker way. So very important uh, how you shift and how you accelerate. Key points uh, to jump on and off the bike. The handling with your hand before you're carrying your bike before the obstacle, before the barrier, it's really important. When you are running and it's a fast course, carry the bike and your hand is already there before you jump off. When you are have a, a bike with a lot of mud, carry the bike, put the bike back down after the first barrier. When you are running, the handling needs to be completely different. The handling needs to be ready to shoulder your bike. In between the barriers, it's important that your feet are high enough to jump the barriers, that it's on the right speed and you are really focused. Put the bike down when it's muddy, when it's light, hold the bike in the air. When it's running, you do the shouldering. After the last barrier, drop the bike, the perfect position, jump on the bike with the perfect position on the saddle. You push your bike a little bit to the front, jump on the saddle, Click in your pedals and then stand up and accelerate on the right gear. That's what you need to do. Well, thank you Sven. That has been an absolute masterclass in getting off and on your bikes. We hope you liked the video too and if you do, give it a thumbs up. To see Sven's Cyclocross Pro Bike, click right there. To see our Cyclocross How To playlist, click down there. And to see a movie of CCN, click right here. <laughs>